Hey Jody here with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Hey, 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 this is Jody. <laughs> I'm doing another tag team effort with Roy Crumrine, also known as Crummy Welding on Instagram. And Roy is building some icebox uh, coolant tanks for Corvettes, I believe is what he told me. In other words, it's some type of a cold air intake system that allows you to run distilled water for extra coolant capacity and also dump ice in there for at the track or something or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, uh, there's some outside corner joints on this thing, but we've already gone over outside corner joints pretty in depth. Uh, today, we're going to look a lot more closely at the inside corner joint because there's a nice long one on this particular on this particular product that we can talk about. Roy's motoring on here as you often do. He's got 20 or 30 of these things to build and, and you know he's not getting paid by the hour, he's getting paid by the part. So you, you, you get to where you're adding wire almost twice per second and, and moving on at a pretty good travel speed. Using a number five standard cup, uh, you don't you don't always need gas lens cups and, and, and in fact for aluminum jobs like this sometimes standard cups seem to work better. Who knows why, but they, they do. He's using a standard number five with 332nd, that's 2.4 millimeter electrode and the same size filler wire, sometimes even 1 16th, 1.6 millimeter filler wire, especially for tacking. But for the long runs, using the larger filler wire. All right, here's the basic settings. Frequency set to about 120 hertz, uh, roughly 140 amps on the machine but not quite using that once he gets going just operating the foot pedal in other words sometimes 140 amps at the start in the middle of a run when things are cold but then as the heat builds up and things get warmed up backing off that's the benefit of using a foot pedal you can see when he starts about once per second and then and then as things get going good and warmed up the the addition of filler rod is more like maybe one and a half times a second to pick up the travel speed. Now I want to talk about this for just a minute here and I'll loop this little clip a few times while I talk about it. And what I want to talk about is the angle of adding filler rod here because the textbooks tell you to add filler rod at way different angle. Well the camera was in the way for this particular shot so Roy's adding filler rod at what most people would tell you is not a good way to do it and yet it's working out just fine. There's a lot of leeway. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. Right here, he's adding it at more of a you know pro preferred angle. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do when you're welding in toward a corner and there's stuff in the way. Your angle of your filler wire might change drastically, and you got to figure out a way to make that work. A bit of advice here to people learning to weld, whether you're in school or just watching other people trying to pick up tips from them, there's things that you need to really pay attention to. You need to, you need to pay attention to the settings on their machine, the amperage they're using and the settings they're using. Also the length of the arc and the angle of the torch and how far they move the torch ahead in between each time they dip rod, how much rod they dip each time they dip rod and how often they dip it. That's basically it. And then even watch their foot pedal and, and watch how far they're going down on the foot pedal and then backing off after heat builds up and things like that. I've slowed things down here using a little Pyrex cup just so you can get a better view so that it's more instructive shot. But there's a nice long inside corner joint. I'm not sure if this joint will be welded on the inside. I don't think it will actually. So let's end, let's end the video here with a nice little outside corner joint here with a little American flag in the background since this is close to 4th of July. Again, he's, Roy's using a number five cup. And you can see, he, as he gets going, he's motoring on pretty good. Because again, not getting paid by the hour on these things. They need to look good, but sometimes welding faster does make them actually look better. The rest of this video is a straight up commercial. I'm telling you that now, so you can bail if you've already seen it, but I've got a great deal held over. And here's what it is. It's the 2014 four disc set the DVD set of, of YouTube videos from 2014, an XL TIG finger and a regular TIG finger, all for less than what I normally charge for the 2014 DVD set. That's it. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.